Because I'm used to living in London now, and you know what that's like, you know. Excuse me, have you got the right time? Fuck off, I ain't got time for anything, especially you. <laughs> but in Ireland, it's like... You can have to excuse me, by the way, I've been watching lots of Tommy Steele films recently. I love Tommy Steele films, because they just sing about anything for no apparent reason, don't they? Oh, look, Tommy's dropped his pencil on the floor. He's done what? He's dropped his pencil on the floor. He's done what? He... He's dropped his blaming pencil on the floor. Whoa! Tommy's dropped his pencil. Come on, Melvin! <laughs> when I first came to London, I thought that's all they did. I thought you had to do that. I got off the train, people were coming up to me going, have you got the right time? I was going, have I got the time? Have I got the time? <laughs> Tommy, you know, it's it's up for three! <laughs> Back off, you northern twat. <laughs> oh! Call me a twat, he don't mean no army, he's just having a laugh. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm bleeding to death from the ambulance. <sighs> Do you ever meet someone that's so cockney, it looks like it's actually painful? <laughs> oh, mate, fucking hell, I'm so cockney, I'm riddled with you. Island, of course. Island's different, isn't it? Have you got the right time? Oh, yes, I do. Hello, how are you? <laughs> They've also got a lovely roast chicken in the oven at home. Will you come back and have some? Meet the wife. You can stay for a month. You can sleep with her. We are friendly over here. <laughs> that was my vague attempt at Riverdance. <laughs> I've got a little trick for you. If you ever go and see Riverdance, never buy the cheap tickets. I watched Riverdance from the back row. Cheap tickets. I had all these big heads in front of me. I could only see the dancers from the waist up. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Irish dancing, don't get me wrong, but it's not exactly known for that upper body enthusiasm, is it? <laughs> I spent two hours watching Michael Flatley going like this. <laughs> I thought that was it. I thought, I thought that's how you impress Irish people. <laughs> so you can imagine my embarrassment on the dance floor in Dublin a few weeks later. I met this girl, very nice, just chatting her up in the usual classy northern way. I said, all right, love, are you an electrician? She said, why? I said, because when you came in the room tonight, you gave off a certain spark that sent a current racing through my body. <laughs> and she said, are you a fishmonger? I said, why? She said, you stink. 